Hi, I'm Tony Kerridge from Tony's Tackle. I've been selling fishing tackle for over 40 years now, and uh, I don't know much about anything else. Anything else, I'm afraid. <laughs> anyway, I've made up some rigs today, and this is an uptide rig. Graham said he was going to come down and see me, and I've made an uptide rig that I've been using in the boat, and they've been very successful for place dabs, everything really, and also cod and bass. Um, you've got three hooks. If you, I'd advise you if you're making your own um, to make them a little bit shorter um, because I fish in the boat quite a lot and our boat's fairly big that I go out in there's plenty of room so I've made this quite long you probably won't even be able to see both ends of it there's plenty of gaps between the hooks and the booms because obviously to, to cover more distance on the bottom but generally you can probably half the length of this rig and still catch plenty of fish and obviously you adapt it to the size of boat you're fishing from and obviously how sort of um, good you are at casting or maybe you're hooking someone up in the boat <laughs> and uh, a lot of it's um, these place rigs they've got a lot of bling on them you've got little um, blades here and plenty of beads many people have got different ideas of beads in colour I mean colours work different colours some people prefer black and yellow different areas as well but generally place are very inquisitive so they'll come and look and see what's going on and then they'll eat hopefully they're always hungry and same thing in the Eastbourne area it's all lugworm you go down to Southampton it'd be ragworm and different places it's other baits you know but generally lugworm and ragworm are the main baits uh, for place and that and also you'll pick up bass and cod at the same time um, this this rig here, particular rig, I call it an uptide rig, and obviously some of you won't know this. What it is, it's when you're at anchor, and basically it's almost like a beach rig when you fish it. Um, you cast at a 45 degree angle from the bow, try not to hook the anchor rope, which I've done a few times, I'm afraid. You'll cast out about a 45 degree angle, or maybe a bit sharper, and then what you do as you hit the water, you let out a load of line on your reel, and, the, and it will settle in the tide, you will see a good bite. Some of the smaller bites you won't see. Uh, depending on, if you're using braid, you'll see everything. But the great thing about uptiding is when you get a decent fish, you'll pull the lead out as if you are like a beach fishing, and it'll come down with the tide. And as it comes down, it slowly gets heavier. And so when you get to the back of the boat and you've got a couple of nice place, you don't really feel the full impact until they start going down the tide. And it's pretty exciting, you know, at the last minute, you maybe will break out and think you've got nothing. And then when you get halfway in you, you'll realise you've got nearly like two pound of fish on if not more and they, and they go really well at the last bit so it's quite exciting fishing the reason we do it is because the back of the boat I mean it's the boat's slapping like this on a, if you can imagine that slapping all the time with the shallow water so if you can get yourself away from it scares the fish so if you can get yourself away from the boat you catch double the amount of fish and I've, time and time again down tiding if you're in shallow water, it doesn't really work. If you up tide, you'll catch twice as many fish in general, and it's also a more exciting way of fishing as well. So basically, that's what I recommend. I mean, the rig body is made up of 70 pound main line, your main body. I'll use 20 pound amnesia on the snoods. These booms are brilliant. I sell these booms, they're very cheap and they're just nice, you just crimp them each side, put a few beads the other side, and they're very neat and tidy. Just a medium length snood, size two Camasan hook, or it's very size small, size two Aberdeen. Again, you can use bigger hooks if you want, this is a personal preference, you know. And everything's just nice and compact, you know. So, three hooks I generally use because you've got three chances. Maybe bake one with lugworm, one with ragworm, and then just do a cocktail on the other one, something like that. But again, it's whatever you want to try, but it gives you free options, you know, whereas you're very limited using one hook. There's nothing you can do, really. And that's one of the best rigs on the market for um, fishing at anchor. Yeah, I forgot to mention, when you're up tiding, um, no cannibal weight this time, you've got an impact lead. I usually use a six ounce, because I need to get it firmly in the bottom so when you get your bites you hook the fish um, this is a six ounce impact lead um, you don't have to clip it or anything like that. it's just a lovely lead to use um, when you when you cast this will lay on the bottom 
it will dig into the sand and give you solid hooking power. It, obviously, if you're up tide and you can't use a cannonball because it'll just roll straight down the tide, it'd be a disaster. So basically, you have to have an impact lead or a Gemini lead, something like that. And that's how it goes. And I normally fish this one. I don't know if you, I didn't sort of point it out, but this is like a dropper, really. From your last hook, I bring it. I put it near the weight, and it just hangs below the weight. So it just gives you another option. That you've got one below and two above, really. You know, it's quite a smart rig, to be honest with you. And uh, I've caught a lot of fish on this, including cod and bass. You know, we call it a place rig but you'd be surprised what you catch up tidy and you can get anything, you know? Um, with the up tidy, it's very much like beach fishing. And what you do, there's a clip on the top, you use Gemini on the beach, but that's fine, this clip. It's an American snap, they call this. It's quite neat, it's quite strong. And then obviously, your main line would have a swivel like this. I've used a big one just to show you on the camera, so it's easy for you to see. Um, you clip into there. When you bring in and you've got a couple of fish on a place or a dab or codling or whatever you've got um, don't mess about just get it off straight away unclip it from there get that off put your next rig on just clip it straight on and then this clips very quick I'll try and show you by the camera you just click it in there like that and cast it straight out again and then the same thing when you reel in again unclips take it off so drop the rig deal with the fish later get yourself in the water catch some fish yeah, so everyone's got their own preference of rigs. Um, this is just what I use. You might want a shorter snood, a longer one. It's entirely up to you. You know, but I think the best way is just go in your tackle shop, grab a load of components like this, different stuff, experiment yourself, make up what you think. But um, in general, I know the lengths, but whatever you want to do, just have a good day and enjoy yourself. Thank you.